With over 300 cars to choose from, how do you pick out which one you want to take home? Fred, you can't have another car. Welcome back, Edel Campers. I'm Fred. I'm Mary. We examine, explore, and educate. Because it's never too late to believe in yourself. That's the truth. Welcome to the Pioneer Auto Museum. Yeah, there's 38 or 40. It's all behind us. And we're going in. This could be a wall. This could be. And then, well, there we go. Nice little gift store here. It's not a party till a South Dakota girl walks in. And they have a cafe here, yay. Now here's some wine for tonight. And then on this side is the Rusty Spire. And there is a pizza place and I don't know what their hours are. What about a good uh, grocery store? We have one grocery store. Yes, that's the good one. That's the good one. <laughs> <laughs> it is down this road on your left about a mile. <laughs> it's definitely loud. <laughs> you need to get some uh, the Daisy Duke shorts. Uh huh. I used to have you know, some. ride around that Jeep. Yeah, yeah, her. I was gonna say I used to have some when I was. That's what she rode around. Younger. She rode it around in the Golden Eagle. Mm -hmm. A little bit older. Oh, look at we just saw that on TV last night. Mm -hmm. That's like the hundredth car that was. <laughs> not a dent on her. All those crashes, not a dent on her, Peyton. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hey, it's Bert. Don't touch. Okay, I know that's pretty cool. It was built by Jerry Nickel. Ooh, it's on Hard Avenue. All right. Check this out. It's Dale Hard Heart, 1936 Chevy race car. James Dean. Oh my God, wasn't he handsome? Look at that. Yes. Plus nineteen hundred eighty dollars. New. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably a lot of money back then, though. This particular model was owned by Elvis, Frank, Frank Sinatra, Dwight Eisenhower, Nelson Rockefeller, and Dave. Dave. Only one option: air conditioning. Ford lost money in every car to buy two Cadillacs or Rolls Royce for the same price. Approximately three hundred dollars It is a hard time to build. Very rare. Only 750 made. Straight eight, 180 horsepower. Oh, cost new. $5,210. Wow, is that that's the air conditioning on the side of the car? I think so. I think the yeah. air comes in and it blows through the, into the window. That's an interesting concept. That's a real woody there. My dad used to have one of these. I was so in love with it and I was so mad at him when he sold it. Yes. I think I have pictures of it. Oh, yeah. Almost identical. 1994 Harley. Willie G. Davidson. Okay. This looks like a clown car. It looks like a three wheeler, but it's a narrow, near track four wheeler. Hi, Vince. It's sure nice to have you back here at Niner Auto. This is Dave. Yeah. I'm going to tell you a few things about this room. This is what we call uh, the Island Variety here. We've got all kinds of things. Over on the right side, as you come in, you'll notice. There's all kinds of things from the early 1900s. There's also a organ back there that's owned by my grandma, Mary Geisler, in New Holland, Minnesota. There's a catalog that shows the very organ for sale for about $20 and back in that time. Over on the left, there's a, we have a huge pipe collection, a lot of interesting things there. And you'll just find anything from razors to 
we don't really have too much of a focus. It seems like we're kind of uh, collector, collector hollocks. Also on the left side, it's all fire equipment. It's a uh, came from a fire collector in New York, in New York State, and these things have been brought in. There's a lot of variety. Look at those various fire trucks and very interesting displays. Over on the right, also, there's a lot of glasswares, carbon glass, lamps. These are a lot of things we picked up in our early days. You can see there's some gone with the wind globes with lights in them. Interesting things. You'll see everything from churns, the spinning wheels, to little, to little uh, slot machines here. They put a nickel in. Over on the left are a bunch of typewriters. I'd like to call your attention also to all of the motor vehicles. You'll see a lot of very unusual names on there, like there's Oakland and Essex and Bristol and Moon and Rickenbacker. A lot of people don't realize that there were 2,600 different makes of cars made in America. And here's a sample of some of them. Gotta put a penny in there. Got a penny? What's a penny, she says. The honky tonk piano still plays. Mm -hmm. Give him a quarter. Put Storm up on this treadmill. <laughs> run your washing machine, your churn, and your cream separator. There's just things everywhere that you go through. We're pretty proud of this toy collection. If you look at these toys, there's all kinds of lovelies and all kinds of cars. Right on the top goes. Right on the top goes. Superbird. Fastest production car in the world. Hmm. I got six. This is huge. Oh, how do you know where's what? I don't see the number six. Everything's labeled. Follow the numbers. Oh. Line. Yeah, I'm telling you. Back in the day, 1964 Caver. It's American version of this. Rear engine. Used to catch a fire. 1921 white motor home. You said it has a kitchen in it. See if we can look in there. All right, there, there's your seat, Fred. Huh? What is it? A bucket? Oh no, I think this is your seat. Yeah. Yeah. It's a oh, bucket and seat. then Peyton, you can fry some potatoes in the cast iron skillet. Bad. Bad. Hey, they hang their stuff out there to dry too. Mm -hmm. That's the closet. In sixteen thousand dollar home on wheels, couple make three year trip from ocean to ocean. See, I love the the rounded versus the squares on these um, front, front ends. Oh, now we're talking. This is what I learned to drive a three-speed in on the floor. There you go. And Gladiator thought they made the pickup truck. Mm. 1968 Camaro. Kaiser Darn Roadster. 161 six cylinder three speed, one of 435 built, all fiberglass body, sliding doors. Owned by Dale Card, Emporia, Kansas. But look who's right there. James Dean. I like the doors. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. 1931 Packard. Without them buying glass. Mm -hmm. Dual cow, straight eight, wire wheels. Nineteen twenty six Model T. Mazda RX seven. Got a rotary engine. Accelerates like a beast. But the seals will wear out. So it wouldn't last very long. So he says that he wanted it when he was a kid. He was like almost thirty when this thing came. <laughs> Don't realize there's four great buildings, right? Yeah. Same American view. Nineteen eighty nine Ford Cruising Base. This is how families traveled in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. The seat pulls down into a bed, it has a TV, and music. It has a big window. And it takes me here. So, what'd they call this Pioneer Town? Pioneer Town. Pioneer Town. There's over 40 some places to look through. And we're at number 18. 
telling Fred I'm not taking any more pictures of cars. This place is loaded with cars unless we find a couple of cute ones. Anyone? Just pick one. 1971 Pontiac. Pontiac. I think how much 1970s car and all these early 1900s, 1900s. $985 for this car. 1915 Overland. I know, I know. I'm trying not to, but they're also beautiful. Here's an electric. See, they were hip. They were hot. They were hip in 1914. And it doesn't say when this solar race car was, does it? Iowa State. I can't read it. Can't read it. The Odyssey. It's like meters. Meters everywhere. Hey, that's about trucks. Here comes the trucks. I didn't say anything about trucks. And tractors. I forgot they have tractors here too. Trucks and tractors. There's my bed. It's a bunk bed. Nah, I don't know what goes up there. Kind of cool though. Oh, I need a helicopter. Put that on the roof. Gonna peek in there? You like that? Yeah. I'm at more in the 50s. I like the 50s trucks. They turned them into these like little compact, rounded out, stupid looking things, and they used to be so. Because this was a gas guzzler. But it's so pretty. And, and gas, part of gas. Peyton? Is in love with impellas. No. No? What? He's in love with pre-70s impellas. It's 19... Now in session. All the ones that can get away from the farm fields, right? Oh, this is cool. How'd you like to sit in those desks, Peyton? I mean, they don't look that much comfier. I'm confusing ones. We have to sit in there. Old Radio Shack, and then Peyton wants to go to jail. <laughs> and what's your crime? Come on, Fred. I think it's time for a haircut and a shave. Let's go. I think they're cold. Sit. Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Stay. 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 Hey, stay. Okay. All right, it's time for your Pioneer Auto Show Cell Service Report. So the winner here is Verizon at 35 megabits per second. Close second is AT&T at 26 megabits per second. But T-Mobile made a poor showing at only two megabits per second. So of course your results may vary, and, uh, but it's a good start. Uh, after a long day of touring the, uh, the auto show, you'll probably want to sit down and watch a good movie and rest them footsies. So that's it for me. I'll see you in a second. We hope you enjoyed just a taste of a glimpse, just small, very small amount of the Pioneer Auto Show. Yeah, we shot several hours in there. I mean, it was every, everywhere you turned around, there was something interesting and more fascinating. So uh, we just literally just gave you the highlights. It may not seem like it, but yeah, if you're gonna go there. Plan on at least a day, maybe two, because what is it? There's 40, 38 buildings. It's on 10 acres of land. Uh, the people are great. A little food in the dining. Uh, the diner was good. Nice little gift shop. Yeah. yeah. And if you're a Harvest Toast, um, then you buy your ticket that night and go through. You can use the same ticket to go through the next day. So um, great Harvest Toast stop. Oh, yeah. And that's our fourth in five so stay tuned next week with We've us. We've got another one coming up? We do so oh, next week's our fifth um, awesome. Harvest Host as we travel through the Midwest. Is one of them going to be a winery because I don't know you'll have to come back and see. In case you hadn't noticed we're showing you what we consider 
little off the beaten track harvest host everybody talks about wineries and breweries and all that but you know like there's museums farms ranches you name it you name it and yeah. golf courses they have more and more they just and they keep adding so we, we really enjoy our harvest host they're great for one night stays when you're traveling and we were trying to put some miles on the road to get to Washington so stay tuned for our adventures we'll see you next time you can subscribe you can like you can you know hit comment the, comment comment all right let comment. us know other things you'd comment. like to see or I'm gonna you know, allow it on if you've this been video. there yeah and uh, yeah tell us what car you would like of all those cars we know Peyton wants the Impala mm. I, I picked out about three or four I'm gonna have them delivered here I think yeah right well we'll see you next week so Bye. Bye-bye.